Hi there, this is Chris with CAD Dimensions here with a quick tech tip. Sometimes when you go to launch SolidWorks, you may be greeted with this error that reads, could not obtain a license for SolidWorks CAN. It may also read invalid block name or invalid license key. These are generally caused by the same issue, being that SolidWorks CAM requires an active support subscription. Either your subscription has run out and you need to renew, or your license simply needs to be reactivated. There are two main ways that we can take care of this error, which we can proceed past. It should not prevent you from using SolidWorks at all. The first option is to just disable SolidWorks CAM if it's not something we're going to be using on our installation. A SolidWorks CAM lets you quickly program individual milled parts and configurations while staying within SolidWorks. So if you're not going to be doing any milling work, it's something you can safely disable, and this is a solution we can take care of without getting our IT involved. In order to do that, once SolidWorks launches, we're going to go up to Tools, Add-ins, and you may need to scroll down and find SolidWorks CAM. And we want to ensure that both boxes on either side of it are unchecked. Click OK, and the next time we launch SolidWorks, you won't see that error pop up and you'll be able to use the software just as you were before. The next solution requires you to reactivate your license. To reactivate your license, you'll need access to your Solid Network License Manager server. The server may be on a different machine and it likely requires admin or IT privileges in order to access. The process is pretty straightforward and once you know what you're doing will only take you about a minute with no real downtime. So it's pretty straightforward and it's not too much hassle. When you launch the Solid Network License Manager on the server, you will know you're in the correct one because you will have this Server Administration tab here. If you do not have a server administration tab, you likely are on a client version of the Solid Network License Manager, not the server version. So in order to reactivate the license on the server, we're gonna go ahead and click this Modify button. It will pop up with basic information. You wanna generally have the firewalls in use. This should all auto-populate and you shouldn't need to change anything there. And click Next. And then you will be given your serial number. You will enter your email address and be sure to select automatically over the internet. The email address, if it is not there, this is something that they added a couple of years ago in the software. If there's no spot for your email address, you can just proceed normally. Once you've entered your information, you can go ahead and click next. I don't have any licenses here in mine, but on your end, you will see it activate those licenses. It may take a moment to process. And once that comes through, you can click finish and all of your licenses will be reactivated. And if you go back to those client machines and launch SolidWorks, they'll launch without a problem. This process generally needs to be run once a year because the only time SolidWorks checks to make sure that the license is still on subscription is when an activation is run. It is not checking in the background every day so that you need to manually tell it to check in order for that to refresh. If you have any other questions or concerns or you run into any problems with the activation, feel free to submit a case to us at CAD Dimensions and we'll be happy to help you out. Have a great day.